Hey guys, Tech Detective here. Before we start the video, I want to give a massive thanks to Tech Doctor UK. Yesterday he gave me and my video a shout out using his community post, and my viewers, comments, and subscribers all went through the roof. And um, I was and still am hyped. Uh, I stayed up until 4 a.m. reading all the comments and responding. So once again, thanks, bro. I really appreciate it. Today we'll begin over the latest version of Morpheus TV. So basically Morpheus TV allows you to stream and download movies with or without subtitles in HD quality. It has a high level of customization and the layout is user friendly. So I'll give you a quick overview of the APK and show you how you can get this. So let's do this. When you first start up the APK, you're presented with a nice user friendly layout. You can, we can see four sections, movies, TV shows, downloads and settings. On the top right, we have a Chromecast symbol, which I can't click because I haven't got it downloaded. And then for um, Track TV, we have a Watch Next button. So let's click into Movies and uh, let's go through each of the sections. So let's start with Movies. Okay, so we have Trending, Popular, Search, My Collection and My Watch List. So My Collection and My Watch List is basically for Track TV. So if you don't have that, you might get a message saying Install Track TV. Let's go into Search just to show you it is actually working. Let's search for Superman. And as you can see, it brings up all of the movies, old and new. So let's click into The Death of Superman. And on the left, we have the channel artwork. And on the right, it searches for the sources. I actually like the way that it searches for the sources. It shows what it's found, like in terms of quality. So at the top, we can see three HD um, links. And then we've got some standard definition links, one. Uh, it can be a bit slow, but um, I can show you a couple of tweaks to speed it up. So as you can see, it's, show it, it's showing the um, milliseconds to the actual server. So what that means is how fast you connect to the server. And usually the lower is better. So yeah, I'll show you how you can uh, tweak all of this in a second. So for me, the lowest one is this 440 millisecond one. So let's click this. This is not, uh, there's no HD link here, so I'll go to another link. Okay, let's do this 1080p one. And as you can see, it loaded pretty much instantly despite the high milliseconds. Let's go to next. All working good. All right, let's go back. Um, the video has subtitles on them. Sometimes they can be inaccurate depending on how new or old the movie is. And... Um, I'll show you how you can uh, change the settings. Yeah, so usually for mil uh, for the server ping, green is good, yellow is not that good, red is don't click that link, it's probably gonna be ultra slow. So yeah, let's go back. So if you actually enjoy The Death of Superman um, or any other TV show or movie that you're watching, you can long press on it. You can add this to your collection and to your watch list. So. Um, you can watch it whenever you want and you can download the best source. This is obviously good because if you're going traveling, you're underground, you don't have an internet connection, um, anything that you download prior to leaving your house, you can watch offline, which is an amazing addition to Morpheus TV. Okay, let's move on to the settings. I'll show you the settings that I prefer and why I've chosen some of the settings. So let's go into subtitles. And um, as I mentioned before, the subtitles can be inaccurate or not synced correctly. So normally I keep the uh, subtitles off and I make sure that they're not automatically downloading. Um, I personally don't need the subtitles you might do, so you could enable it and enable this option as well and choose your specific lang language. So for me, English, and then um, for you, whatever you prefer. Um, we can also customize the actual subtitles as well. So we can change it to either white or yellow. We can increase the size of the actual subtitles. And um, if you've, discover that a certain provider's um, subtitles are inaccurate or not synced correctly, you can actually turn them off so that the search doesn't actually find them, which I think is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. So this does actually slow down your search by a little bit. Um, before, when you click onto a source, it downloads the actual um, subtitles or it finds them first and then downloads them and then it, and then it loads the movie. So that small amount of time can um, impact the speed so let's go back let's go into providers and um, for performance if you have a high-end box like a Nvidia shield or something like a second generation fire stick 
then you can probably have six threads searching for sources. Now, the higher you go, the faster um, it will search. But if you have um, a low-end machine, I would recommend four threads simply because if you go higher, it might cause your uh, device to hang or freeze. Uh, so yeah, so individual threads timeout. So when it is actually searching for um, the content, how long do you want it to search for? So I would move this down to 30. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good number. Let's go down. And these are providers. And if you notice that some providers are just too far from you or some of them just don't work at all, you can um, toggle them on and off. So for example, onion play is kind of rubbish for me. So I'll turn that off. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to sources. Now you can get your content to start up immediately after clicking the movie but i prefer to have the all the sources in front of me so i can choose what's closer to me what's the best quality and um, all that good stuff so yeah yeah so if you disable verify sources what will happen is it'll find every link available for you to click even if they are dead um, it does speed up the process but you might click on dead links which might um again kind of ruin your experience um i leave it on it's, it doesn't make a that big of a difference to me uh, we can search for how long you want the sources to be verified for so I would move this down to five seconds so I give um, my device five seconds to verify the sources if they're solid or not um, if you do find out that you, if you do find that you are getting a lot of dead links I would increase this to a higher number and um, if you're not then put it lower so yeah uh, yeah let's go back for torrents, uh, I personally don't use torrents, but if you do, I advise you'd get a VPN. Um, I just prefer streaming and downloading over torrents. Um, but if you are familiar with torrents and you do want to use torrents, and you're like some sort of expert, then you can uh, turn it on. And uh, But I personally don't use them and I don't know much about them, so I just uh, leave that off. Um, for notifications, we have um, a Chromecast notification. It can get a bit annoying every time it, it comes up, but um, you can, if you do have Chromecast and you're a big fan, you can turn it on and off. Um, and you can turn on the notifications for the files that you're currently downloading, which are pretty good. For downloads as well, you can increase the number of downloads that you have, that you're running. Um, if you have a really good internet connection, I would increase the number. If it's not that good, put it lower. And if you're downloading over cellular data, then you can turn this on and then it'll give you a prompt to telling you, you know, you're, you're going to exceed your data limit. Stop. So, yeah. And you can also choose the folder where you want to put all your download stuff into. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, now I'll take you through the steps that you need to take to install this. So stay tuned. The first thing that you want to do is go into your security settings and then go to unknown sources and make sure that it's checked. The second thing you want to do is go into the description of my video and click the link and it will bring you to this page in front of you now and all you have to do is click the big green button. If you're on a Fire Stick or a Fire TV then just input the link that I've put up on the screen for you now and you should be good to go. If you found my content useful make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you uh, enjoyed the content and you wish to stay updated make sure you hit subscribe and um, for all of the new people that have joined I appreciate your support. Um, if you have any advice for me to improve in terms of thumbnails, uh, quality of video, audio, anything, just put it in the comments below. It would mean a lot to me. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.